When you're faced with a multi-year wait, almost assuredly for a game you're really excited about, you get real desperate. You start reaching. You start looking for stuff that might not really be there. And today, we're going to do that with the description from a new piece of Mass Effect merch. Yeah. I am Bond, and today we are going to take a look at a new piece of merchandise that showed up in the Bioware gear store today that is of the N7 teaser reveal from last year. The twist is that it has a description that may confirm some stuff that we may have thought before, but we might be able to say we know it now. So let's jump into it. So here is the landing page for the new merch that has shown up. It is a pre-order, I believe, for a Mass Effect mis Mysteries from the Future lithograph. Um, it's 45 USD, 45 bucks, and it's the poster from last in seven day in 2021. Uh, and if you don't remember, it features um, a ship of some type. Um, above the title of Mass, uh, Mass Effect will continue. We have the four figures down here, um, as well as what looks like a bunch of dead Geth bodies. Some people have identified Quarians in here. I'm not totally sold on that. Um, and the overarching theme of this is this figure on the uh, screen of what's pretty obviously a Geth uh, or, the, or an allusion to the Geth. Uh, even with the little, uh, you know, shiny uh, rays that come off of their their headlamp, um, and and yeah, so you know, this is I've analyzed this. This has been analyzed to death. I won't go too much into it now, but you know, we have this piece of merch. It's this uh, two foot by foot and a half uh, poster that's printed on really nice um, poster board or paper, and um, you can you can buy it if you want. I'm probably gonna pass on this one, even though I I'm, I am tempted. So what's interesting about it is that if you scroll down, um, you may uh, take a look at this and, and, and read into it. So that's what we're going to do because uh, we slash I am desperate for any new information about this upcoming game. And um, we'll start with the title. So the Mysteries from the Future is a uh, interesting title. Um, my assumption is that the future they're referring to is the game coming out in the future. So uh, I'll try not to read too much into it because uh, going more into that might be a bit much, but uh, let's read the description and talk about it. The show goes on. Shepard's final quest may have ended the threat of the Reapers, but at great cost, including Earth itself. While Shepard and survivors are left to pick up the pieces, fans are left wondering what's next. Um, so just the mention of Shepard, I think is significant. Um, this also goes back to the showing the shard of an N7 helmet in that initial teaser from 2020. Um, and <clears throat> this, this could just, uh, all of this could just be marketing speak typing up. Maybe this has nothing to do. Uh, maybe no one who's actually working on the game had any input on this at all. I doubt it though. And what's interesting about it is that they're saying, you know, the Shepherd and the survivors are picking up the pieces. I mean, that's implying that Shepherd's still alive afterwards. And I think in my very conspiratorial mind and my huge personal self bias, that this is a very small way of confirming the destroy uh, Shepherd lives ending as canon. Um, I, that's just, I, I think, it's on it's on words it's on you know i was gonna say paper it's not paper but i mean it's it's certainly not nothing i think is worth saying so let's let's continue on mass effect will continue and with the sneak peek poster we got from the bioware team as part of the n7 day 2021 there is a lot to unpack from countless theories regarding the setting of the next game to the bewilderment on whether death will make a comeback, eagle-eyed fans will have a lot to make of this Mass Effect Mysteries from the Future lithograph. So again, um, this, whether Geth will make a comeback, this implies they've been destroyed, 
and they're saying and they're and they're saying oh are they gonna make a comeback which i do think this poster is suggesting that um what happened to the geth at the end of three uh, is going to be a big part of the next game whether we're going to investigate possible remaining geth or the potential to you know grab one of their servers and maybe bring them back in some capacity i don't know who knows but again this is making another relatively def de definite statement because if you pick synthesis if you pick control in both of those endings the geth should live so so there we go uh, and then the last bit here a krogan and its four member team walk towards a geth shaped crater with a ship that resembles the normandy with sfx emblazoned on the side all of this along with bioware gm gary mckay's hints about at least five surprises within the poster will make this lithograph a great material for study discussion and endless pondering which is what we're doing right now the special pearl gloss finish and high quality printing ensure that no detail is lost right to the specks of dust and snow on a mysterious crater so suit up hang this lithograph on your wall and get ready for the next chapter of mass effect so like i mean that's pretty cool like so so they are i mean it was pretty obvious i think to most people that um on this on this poster uh I'll, I'll try to put up a higher quality version of this uh when i do the video uh when i render but this here is this this red little blob on this screen um on the full size picture is is, is clearly a krogan in like a red suit um and then there's what looks to be a asari um i think what looks to be a turian and then a what i think is a human wearing an n7 helmet uh, in the bottom right here um so i mean it's it's confirming it's a krogan which is fairly obvious if you watch it in a four member team i mean uh one thing to know this sfx this was the code name for mass effect one when they were working on it before they came up with mass effect um so that's cool it's a very clear confirmation of that and then this last bit here um the the right to the uh, specks of uh, dust and snow in the mysterious crater so there's been some allusions to that there's like snow and stuff like that that um i think spells out like n7 over here if you look at the high quality version um of this and i don't know um if you if you follow the channel you know i was originally a division fan um and i still am and they just had a bunch of big news today so you'll probably be surprised i'm covering this instead well I have a whole tweet storm and I'll be doing a podcast and all that about division, which I'll talk about this as well during the podcast. Um, but this is interesting to me. I mean, uh, this is, you know, kind of a big deal. I think that they're cashing in on this N7 thing from, uh, gosh, what, six months ago now, seven months ago. And, um, they, they do this stuff one to obviously make money, but this is PR. This is marketing. This is knowing that people like me, even though I only get, you know, 40, 50 views on my videos, but people like big Dan gaming and Mr. Hoffman and other people like that are going to, are going to cover this. I'm sure They're, if they don't have a video already, they will talking about this because this is not nothing. This may not be big news. There may not be anything too telling in here. I, think it's i think this statement about shepherd um is fairly significant i think this statement about the geth is fairly significant um i i think this is interesting i think it's fun to pay attention to this stuff even if at the end of the day it's just tidbits and it doesn't really matter that much um, but for me it's fun to cover it and i'm excited to see them uh kind of drip feed more and more of this stuff as time goes on and that's where I'm going to leave this video. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you want to be uh, you know, sure to catch more of my videos, please subscribe. Please like this video in particular. If you're part of the Mass Effect community, please share it wherever you talk to your Mass Effect friends. And uh, maybe check out some of my other content. You can check out my gaming podcast where I will talk about this as well as lots of other things this week on the Echo Cast, my podcast that is available on iTunes, Spotify, this very YouTube channel, and all other uh, big podcast places. 
Um, check out my stream at twitch.tv slash Von Diesel. I am at Von Diesel on Twitter and most other social media locations. And that's all I have. So until next time.